Hi, I'm Pat Horn, the STEM coordinator at the Lakeshore Museum Center, and today I'm going to be joining with Aaron Mace at the Historic Sites. And I'm actually in the Hackley House right now, and what we're going to do is actually a take on a video that we saw on our YouTube channel called Absolute History that looks at Victorian staircases in homes in England and looks at the safety or the dangers of them based on certain measurements that a, a mathematician came up with. So we're going to do some science today at the houses. We're going to be looking at our stairs and just seeing how safe or how dangerous they could be. And we're going to begin right here in the Hackley house with the main staircase that the family would have used. So we'll check out some measurements in just a second here. So this is the family staircase in the Hackley house. Uh, the family staircase here was really only for the family, the Hackleys, to use. So the servants that worked in the house would not have been using this staircase. They had a separate staircase at the back of the house that went from the servants' quarters, their bedrooms, upstairs, down to the kitchen, which was one of their primary work areas. So the family staircase here is not only much more well decorated than the servant staircase, but is also a lot more comfortable to walk on as far as its steepness and the width of the stairs. And originally the Hackley uh, family staircase did have carpeting on it as well. So the first measurement that we're going to take here is we're going to look at the angle of the main staircase here in the Hackley house. Now, um, according to code and even the formula that was developed by Peter Nicholson, the stair, average stair should be about 30 to 35 degrees in angle. So we're going to check it out here in the Hackley house and see what we get. So I have a string here at the top of the steps. And then Aaron's got a protractor tied to our string at the bottom of the steps. And we're going to see what measurement we get here. So I'm going to hold it so it's nice and tight. All right, so it is right around the 40 degree mark. So our stairs are at 40 degrees, which is a little bit steep, um, a little bit into the dangerous level, but not terribly bad, right? So, um, you know, if you're hackly coming down these stairs and you're uh, outfit, it might be a little bit trickier, but thankfully you do have the handrail there with the intricate carvings on it to help guide you down. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do another measurement here in just a bit, checking at the pitch of the stairs. Or excuse me, I should say the, um, the length of the stairs compared to their height. So we'll be back in a second. So according to this formula, the going, which is this section of the stair here that actually makes up the step, should be twice as long as the rise, which is the section that makes up the height. So on the Hatchley family staircase here, if we were to measure, we'd see that the rise is about six and a half inches. And to measure the going, we we'll see that that is right around uh, 11 and one eighth inch. So um, definitely not the uh, twice that they recommend in that formula. So the final thing that we're going to measure here on the Hackley staircase is the length of our stairway. So in order to make your stairway safe, it was recommended that you have no more than 147 inches uh, from the base of the stairs up to the top without having some type of landing or spot to break up those stairs. So Aaron and I are going to measure the length of the largest section here of the Hackley uh, Grand Staircase. So it looks like that's right around uh, about 128 inches. So that'd be 10 feet, 8 inches. All right, so at 10 foot, 8 inches, the Hackley stairs do meet those requirements. So they have actually two landings on this grand staircase here um, coming up to the second floor. So they did break up their stairs to make it a little bit safer. Uh, the other thing that we'll notice too is if we look at our tape measure here, it's laying pretty flat along the top of our steps, meaning our steps are more or less uniform in height. Uh, one of the dangers of wooden stairways is that they will wear away. And if you get even a difference in the stair height from one step to another of a sixteenth of an inch, you can even cause um, people to trip just because that slight difference, their foot is not quite um, going to be placed in the right spot. So these stairs are pretty uniform. So overall, the Hackley stairs are pretty safe, a little bit steep angle to them. Uh, but a pretty good staircase to be. We'll see how that compares to other stairs in the houses, particularly in the servant's side of the houses. So this is the servant staircase in the Hackley house, and I'm sure you can tell already that this one is quite a bit different than the one we saw at the front of the house that the Hackleys would have used. The servant staircase back here would not have had this handrail originally, so this is something that was added for the ease of our visitors and our staff, but would not have been here when the Hackley servants were going up and down these stairs. And as you might be able to tell from where I'm standing, there is no landing on the staircase. These are actually just curved stairs instead, so definitely not as comfortable to walk on. 
and much more steep. So these would have been the stairs that the servants were using when they were traveling back and forth from the kitchen and from their bedrooms upstairs or from any of the family rooms even at the front of the house. They would have been using these servant stairs instead of the family staircase. So now we're on the servant staircase and we're going to be measuring the angle back here. Uh, there is definitely a little bit of a problem with this because of the variability on these stairs. So uh, if you can tell, the string at the top here is definitely tight, but the one on the step below is not even touching. So there's definitely some issues with even being able to take this measurement, but we've done our best. And so we've got Pat down there taking the, the measurement. All right, so it looks to me to be about right here. So we're getting close to about 45 degrees on these steps. Okay, so definitely steeper than the family staircase. Yeah, definitely a little bit steeper. And um, you know, probably the reason why I'm on this step right here is because if we even bring it a step further down, uh, this step here is not at all the same uh, height from the step above it. And so we had a lot of issues like Aaron was mentioning, um, especially on this end too, of the variability of these steps, making it really hard to get a true measure of the angle. But yeah, somewhere around 45 degrees or so for these steps. So now we're going to measure the rise and the uh, tread of these steps here and see if it fits into that two times the rise equals your um, tread or your basically your width of your stair formula here. So as we mentioned earlier, there is some variability to these steps. So I'm going to start with this step right here, which is just shy of seven inches for our rise, which means we should get about 14 inches uh, this way on our step. Now, if I measure it, we'll do the one below. If I measure that, you can see we're at about 10 inches here. So we should technically be sticking out to this far with this stair. So you can see, yeah, there's definitely um, not enough width to the step. And what that means is this step can be really dangerous if you're going up or down it um, because it's not enough foot space there. And in fact, Aaron and I, as we've been going up and down these stairs doing our measurements, we're noticing we have to turn our feet completely sideways to get down these steps. And if you're a Victorian made with all of your outfit on, you've got your shoes on, it's going to be pretty difficult to get down these and navigate them safely. And like Aaron said, there's not a handrail. Now the other thing that I want to measure is how actually um, far across our step goes. Now according to uh, modern day codes, you should have about four foot of your steps here. And looking at our servant step, we've got not quite even three foot of our step here. Now on the family step, uh, we did notice that we had a little over, I think it was close to like three and a quarter for the um, width of our step here. So that was much better than on the servant side of the house here. So yeah, you can see overall these servant steps, a little more scarier than the family steps. Um, they're also made of a little softer wood too. You'll notice there's some little pock marks in it. And as I mentioned, there's a lot of that variability, especially as you get up and around this corner, making these pretty dangerous steps if you're not being careful. All right, so one last thing that we did with this staircase here is we measured uh, from the top down towards the bottom there, which is kind of part of our um, curves to it, but it's about 17 foot long, which is five foot over what you should have for having a landing on it. So um, in the certain steps, you can see instead of landing, they just did these curved stairs. And if we look at some of these measurements here, you know, so like if you're trying to step here, you've got only four inches of space. If you're over here, it's getting a little better. If you stay on the outside, you've got 17 inches there, which is kind of that acceptable range. But you know, the main spot you're going to be is kind of here in the middle, and you're looking at maybe nine inches or so of foot space. So these angles here are really sharp and really scary on these certain steps, something you didn't see on that main staircase. So this staircase is on the Hume side of the city barn, and these are the stairs we use uh, on the staff area. So uh, our offices are upstairs, and then the stairs here lead down to our gift shop. So these are stairs that we go up and down uh, every day, all the time, and uh, it doesn't make it any easier because you can probably tell, even from that angle, that these steps are quite steep. So these are the ones that the Hume coachman who lived in the upstairs apartment would have been using when he was traveling up and down in the barn space. All right, so Aaron and I did some measurements off camera. We um, saw from the video earlier that the angle of these staircases is pretty steep. Um, based on our calculations, it's about a 50 degree angle on this staircase. So it's definitely the um, steepest angle staircase that we've measured so far. 
Um, ideally, if you remember, you want about 30 to 35 degrees for the angle of your staircase. So a little sharp of a staircase. Uh, the other important measurement though that I want to do here is our rise of our steps and the going or the width of the stairs. So let's check that out. So if I measure here, our going is about seven inches, or excuse me, our rise is about seven inches or so uh, between our steps here. So that means we should have about 14 inches of width to comfortably come down this step here, or 15 inches of our going. Um, however, we are close to a little under nine inches or so. Uh, 14 inches would actually bring us out to about right here, which is pretty close to where our next step actually goes out. So really our stairs should be about this wide. Um, so not quite, um, a little over half of the width that we wanted, but yeah, definitely not really enough. And so when you come down these stairs, typically you gotta turn your feet sideways like I have them here to get down to make sure you can do it safely because my foot's just not gonna fit on the staircase pointed forward. Now the other issue that we have with these stairs too is if you remember, in any uh, change in your stair height, um, a 16th inch or more, makes you more likely to trip going up and down the stairs. So if you look here at the step that my foot is on, you might actually be able to see where it kind of divots in from people walking on it over the years. So it's actually worn down the wood. Now, because this is a servant staircase, typically they're made out of your cheaper, less expensive wood. And so it's going to wear down. You're going to have some changes in your elevation, which is going to make it a little bit dangerous on these staircases. All right, so just to wrap up our video, we did go to the Hackley side of the city barn. And we wanted to show you something pretty cool here. Uh, this is a great comparison that you can see. So on the wall here, you can see the shadow of the original staircase that was on the Hackley side. And it's pretty similar to what we saw on the Hume side. But then you can also um, see the modern day stairs that have been put here that are up to code. You can see, yeah, quite a difference in the angle of uh, our slope of our stairs here and also our stair um, rise and our stair going. So you can see I can pretty much comfortably fit my foot on this step, whereas if I were trying on this step, I'd be hanging off a few inches there. So I'm um, just kind of a really neat comparison to see here. So hopefully you enjoyed learning a bit about some of these stairs in our historical sites.